the set of numbers 1 2 3 4 5 till 2021 in how many ways can one choose two different numbers whose sum is an even number the sum has to be an even number right so if i select 1 1 plus 3 is an even number 1 plus 3 is even 1 plus 5 is even 3 plus 7 is even 11 plus 13 is even 2 plus 4 is even 2 plus 8 is even 2 plus 12 is even 16 plus 36 is even 102 plus 116 is even I'm writing these numbers to get a pattern get a very simple pattern what is this pattern if sum of two numbers is even then either both of them are odd or both of them are even lovely so i'm going to say i instead of having 1 2 3 4 till 2021 i'm going to break this as 1 3 5 7 9 11 till 2021 and 2 4 6 8 10 till 2020 this is one part this is one part some two numbers out of this list will work some two numbers out of this list will work brilliant we done okay. now 1 3 5 7 9 till 2021 or 2 4 6 8 till 2020 how many numbers are there in that list that is tricky and so, totally there are 2021 numbers it should be half and half okay. but it's not exactly half and half because 2021 is an odd number right so 2021 is an odd number 2020 is 2 into 1010 so we are 1010 1010 that will be 2020 but that will be there if you counted till 2020 we are counting 2021 also or it is not 1010 1010 it is 1011 and 1010 so there are 1011 numbers in this list 1010 numbers in this list if you take any two numbers out of this list, it will work. If you take any two numbers out of this list, it will work. But there's 1010 numbers, 1011 numbers. That is very weird. So I'm going to forget that. I don't like dealing with tough questions. I don't know whether I've told you this before. I don't like dealing with tough questions. I'm going to deal with easy questions. How do I make this question simpler? I don't want to deal with 1011. All that. <coughs> I'm going to do it 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Eleven, maybe thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So I don't want to do all numbers is two zero two one. I'm going to do all numbers till twenty-one. Similar, ending with an odd number. I'll get this right. Then I'll go to that. Then I want to find two numbers out of this. I want to find two numbers out of this. How many numbers are there in this list? There are 11 numbers in this list. How many here? 10. 2 to 20 all even numbers. 10 numbers. Right? Now let's go methodically on this. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. If I take 1, then I can have any of these other 10 to go with it. So with 1 being one of the two numbers, I have 10 pairs. With 3, again one of the other 10, 10 pairs. With 5, 10 pairs. 7, 10 pairs. 9, 11, 13, each of these numbers features in 10 pairs. There are 11 numbers in this list. Each of them comes in 10 pairs. Our total ways of doing this is 11 into 10. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. We've done this. You should be careful of this, of that old friend of ours. If you select 1 and there are 10 pairs there, if you select 7 and there are 10 pairs there, the pair 1 and 7, 1 plus 7, will get counted here and here. Or when I do this 11 into 10, I'm double counting everything. I shouldn't. I should be very careful about double count. How do I do that? 11 into 10 by 2. 11 into 5, 55. What will be here? Very simple. 10 pairs. 10 numbers here. Each one can be paired with 9 others. 10 such pairings of 9 groups. 10 into 9. Again, we double count by 2. 9 into 5, 45. 55 plus 45, 100, whatever that comes out to. Brilliant. So now we've got the method. So now let's go do our tougher question. We have 1, 3, 5, 7, all the way till 2, 0, 2, 1. 2, 4, 6, 8, all the way till 2, 0, 2, 0. 
here there are one zero one one numbers here there are one zero one zero numbers we know this we said if there are 11 numbers it is 11 into 10 by 2 this one can be combined with one zero one zero numbers so total number of pairings is one zero one one into one zero one zero by 2 in this case it is one zero one zero into one zero zero nine by two add these two you've got our answer more importantly the one zero one zero by two can come out one zero one zero by two into one zero one one plus one zero nine nine add these two zero one two eleven one one so one zero one zero by 2 into 2110 find that number whatever that number comes out to 2110 into 1010 by 2 multiply find that number write down the answer somewhere, somewhere it will fall in place fine beautiful question because the number is very large it is tougher so you have to reimagine do a simpler question and then extrapolate whenever you're doing for large numbers see some small things see if they fall in place whenever you do two, two, several things write down the first three things then say okay i cannot do for two three four five six seven eight nine let me do for n and now i want you to think about instead of it were 2 to 2 1 what will you do if it were n n being an odd number try that whenever you're dealing with with different cases several cases always coming to a general scenario is very useful learn that and then you're you're, you're home and dry you're